when we work with Pentaho, we have uh, two kinds of processes to create uh, jobs and transformation. But what the, what's the difference of these two? Uh, many people get confused. Uh, it's actually a little confusing. So let's try to clarify that here. If we go to the Pentaho official page, uh, we have that the difference between transformation and jobs is that transformation is about moving and transforming rows, while jobs is more high level flow control, like sending mails. In this case, I will show you some examples. Another the difference is that the steps in the transformation is ex executing parallel, but the step in a job executing order. We'll, we'll see that in a while. So if we go to Pentaho, let's try to see what uh, we're creating a transformation here. And let's see what steps we have available for a transformation. So if we see the transformations uh, steps, we have generate rows that is about rows, as the documentation stated. We have uh, JSON input that it will give me row by row, etc. Uh, also, we, if we see transform, we'll see that we have row flattener, the normalizer, we have filters for rows, everything is split field to rows, everything is row by row. Everything will be row by row processed. Now, if we go to jobs, we see that we have different steps. We have, uh, well, this is the standard, but let's say mail, we can, we can send an email. So if we are gonna send an email in our job, we, we don't want to send one email per line. I mean, if we are doing an automatic mail sender, yes, but it's not the case in general. We want an email when it starts or when it fails or when it finishes. So we need one mail per everything, right? Uh, for example, if we want to unzip a file, we want to do it one time. We don't want to unzip one file per row. So this is ba ba basically the main difference. Jobs are things that we need one time or a couple of times at the beginning, at the end, uh, like to batch processing. And transformation is more row by row what we will do with the flow of each row. Let's, uh, to graphic this, let's do an example of when we need a job. We don't, we don't have an option here. We may have options, but it's the classic example when you want to say, okay, I will use a job now. So let's start with a very simple transformation. I will, I have this file that I created here. Uh, it's any file, right? But we will read it. Uh, the let's uh, let's open this file. It's called Moody Lines, and there you go. Let's get the fields. Nothing. There you go. And we'll just send the files to nothing. We'll just read the files and do nothing with the files. Let's just put the dummy step. Just to keep track of what files are processed. Here we have an error handling step option. So, and we can say that this is the main output also. Let's put this as a main output and let's search for the abort, abort transformation step as the error handling step. Let's put copy. In this case, makes no sense. But if we execute this, let's execute it. will ask me to, to save, six, there you go. It's okay. What will happen now if the file doesn't exist? So I will just change the name of the file and let's see what happens now. I will run it and it, it will fail awfully, right? But it won't go to abort because the abort is when you have a problem with one line. It, it's just making all the program fail without an error, without any information. We want to handle the error. We don't want to just throw it away, the error. So what we will do in this case is create a job that will check if the file is there first and then execute this transformation. Let's create a job and let's put a start, 
because it's a job. And then let's include the transformation we created there. Uh, OK, and then here we will uh, call our transformation. The transformation is text six. I created a lot of text already. There you go. And we'll see. We here want to insert the file check, right? So file, uh, let's say file condition, file exist. Let's do this. There, let's insert it in the middle. There you go. Yes, let's split it. And what file we want to check? The one that we stated here. OK, so we are going to say if this file exists, then go here, else, abort. And this is the abort of the job. So we'll abort, abort all the job if this fails. And here, we can put a proper message like file not found, found or something more descriptive. So we know that if this fails here, it's because the file doesn't exist. So let's test it now. It will. It should go here because the file still doesn't exist. It will ask me to save. I'm saving it. Okay, test six. But this is a KGB. KJB. There you go. It went here, and if we see the logging here, it will say file not found. Exactly what we wrote. Now, let's see if it works for the positive. Uh, let's put the proper name. There you go. Let's execute it one more. There you go. It works. And no problem. So in this case, basically what we are doing is checking if the file exists. And if, if it does, executing the transformation. If, it's, if not, we know what's happening. We check that the file doesn't exist. And then execute the test. This abort will only be called if there are some rows in particular that are failing not when the file doesn't exist. Hopefully this clarifies a, li a little the things. I will put exercises in the YouTube uh, description. Uh, go check it out.